Oh well, hello world. This is Maya Sundermeyer, and I'd like to welcome you to uh, my uh, my little pony friendship is magic edition of uh, my video blog series, Hello World with Maya Sundermeyer. And before I begin, I'm going to let you guys know that I'm going to be doing a yes, there are 26 ep 26 episodes on reviews alone on uh, on each episode. And uh, this time I'm going to talk about uh, uh, season, season 4 for episodes 1 and 2 of Princess Twilight Sparkle. And I uh, was, am very excited to uh, get this golden opportunity to vlog about something that I like next to living on the autism spectrum since My Little Pony has become my whole world and has become my passion. Anyway. Uh, where to begin? As we know, uh, and, and where we left off uh, of uh, the season three, thirteen episode uh, season finale uh, of, the, of the magical mystery, uh, mystery cure, we know that uh, Twilight Sparkle, who is now a princess, well, was able to write her own magic on her own after uh, being able to prove that she could problem solve. And so Princess Celestia decided to give her wings and uh, crown her as one of the princesses of Equestria. And um, I have to say that what before I saw this episode and I saw that other episode nine months ago, I was shocked that they had turned Princess Twilight er, Twilight into a princess this soon, even though I knew it was coming uh, because her brother had married uh, Princess Cadence and that would entitle her to be a princess anyway. But anyway, so where to begin? Um, when the season, w when the episode begins, we see that Twilight Sparkle is having trouble flying and using her wings. I mean, sh her, she can't fly straight. She can't stay up in the air. She bumps into things, and other things is she's not used to having the title of being a quote princess because she had not expected that would become her title. And uh, I'm honestly going to say that I've had some had some time to think about Twilight as a princess, and I honestly here's what I come up with. First of all, Twilight Sparkle is one of my favorite mares in the entire show. And here's why. Number one, she's intelligent. Number two, she's self-determined. Number three, she's very outspoken. Number four, she's not a girly princess like, the, like Cinderella or Princess Aurora or Ariel from The Little Mermaid. No, Twilight Sparkle has some personality to her that none of those princesses ever had. They just were girls that, that were meant to look pretty. And no, Twilight Sparkle almost reminds me of uh, Anne Hathaway in the pr Disney's The Princess Diaries that came out in 2001. Uh, and then other things I like about Twilight is that, yes, she is a genius, but no, I don't think that's why she, that's why Princess Celestia titled her princess I believe she did it because of her humility. But anyway, uh, that's beside the point. Getting back to the show, as we can tell that Princess Twilight Sparkle is flying around and she's struggling to stay off the ground or fly straight. And uh, of course that's logical because that's something she was never born with, unlike Rainbow Dash or Fluttershy or even Derpy Hoops. No. Uh, however, at the end of season three, uh, we notice that she is flying perfectly and she says, everything's going to be just fine. However, uh, however, we know that's a big plot hole. Uh, other things I noticed about it is uh, we noticed that Discord uh, didn't know, didn't remember how to say Fluttershy's name and so we noticed him calling her Shutterfly and we know that you said her name so perfectly in episode in episode one of season two, the return the return of harmony, and 
He also said it very well in Keep Calm and Flutter On. And he'd also, uh, she, he'd also been reformed by Fluttershy himself. So, uh, I don't, can't really think of any other plot holes at this time. If you think of any, please uh, be sure to comment below. But anyway, other things about the show that I liked. Um, I, first off, I liked it that they brought back Nightmare Moon because uh, there are so many fans that had wanted to know how and why and what exactly uh, it look, uh, the scene looked like when Luna became Nightmare Moon to the point, you know, uh, and where Princess Celestia herself had to banish her to the moon for a thousand years. Uh, until the Summer Sun celebration, which we see in Mare and the Moon of Episode 1, Season 1. And I also thought it was fascinating that we are discovering more about Discord in small doses. And we start to see that he not only, in the essay, he's not the villain or the, the psychopath that we think he is in... In season, in season two of episodes one and two, no. Discord is a uh, arrogant and sort of a uh, careless personality that likes to get out there and start trouble because he thinks it's funny. And we also learned that he's probably also been angry because he never had any friends and... We also discover that, as uh, Fluttershy describes it, he can be a real sweetheart once you get to know him. And I just, I'm so glad that they brought Discord back. And it, if you notice that uh, he gets, the, when he's brought into uh, episode one of Princess Twilight Sparkle, he's singing the words winter wrap up, winter wrap up. And I thought that was one of the best uh, things that he had done. And then we, and then we know too that he hasn't been reformed all the way through yet, because uh, because he would he's just learning to turn around. And whenever somebody changes, it doesn't take overnight. And it's not going to take Discord overnight. It's going to get, it's going to take some time for him to learn how to be a friend, when to be, and when to be a friend, and when something's appropriate and when something's not not appropriate. Um, uh, but other things that I liked, um, yeah, Pinkie Pie did it again. First of all, okay, she's not my favorite character, but she was once again able to break the fourth wall and make me smile, and, uh, that included, uh, sending letters to Princess Twilight Sparkle, and, um, here is uh, my opinion on why she's able to break the fourth wall. I wonder if Pinkie Pie isn't a unicorn all along and she somehow had lost her horn and was adopted by that family and had moved on to a rock farm. I, I understand she's supposed to be a, she's a very interesting character and I'm yet to see why Pinkie Pie acts the way she does and why she's able to break the fourth wall. But, uh, let's see what else I liked about it. I also thought it was very unique when uh, the two captain of the guards were able to come up to Twilight and go, Your Highness, it's up to you now to make the decisions. And to see Twilight Sparkle having to step into the positions of her two most... Uh, of her uh, her closest mentors and have to say have have to make a stand and say let's find let's find prin let's find the princesses before society starts panicking and I thought I just I thought it was really unique and finally before I close I'd like to say that um, we have Twilight's great personality and wish for instance she was worrying and uh, while she was worrying, you noticed that 
she would she started flying or she started raising up in her room and she started flying or, or she started flying and she hit she ended up hitting the ceiling before she came down I thought that was pretty good so until next time I'm